When you go to the Smithsonian, you can now buy toys made by a Vermont company, Maple Landmark Woodcraft. Before that, there were only imports. Senator Bernie Sanders brought the issue to light two years ago when he went Christmas shopping and could not find any American-made gifts at the Smithsonian. Senator Sanders is here to talk about this change, and so is Jill Stackhouse with Maple Landmark Woodcraft. Thank you both for being here. Pleasure. Well, I'm going to start with uh, Jill. You had been trying to get your products in this store for a while, but didn't have any luck. Um, it was difficult because there typically, you know, you can find anything you want online, you know, anything you want to know, but um, there was no good way uh, to contact anyone at the museum. There was no phone number, you know, no uh, navigation system, if you will. Um, I tried for a while. Smithsonian's a big place. Uh, didn't have any luck. And then uh, about a year ago, about this time, um, I read that uh, Bernie Sanders had Shine a, shine a light on that problem that uh, there was not enough American-made products in the Smithsonian gift shop and uh, I thought well maybe uh, he could, his office could offer me some help in trying to navigate their system. So Senator Sanders, were you surprised by that when you walked into the store a few years ago? I really was. Uh, the Smithsonian is a wonderful museum, wonderful set of museums. They talk about American history, American culture, and then you go to the gift shop, and it was very hard to buy made in the United States of America. So we ended up talking to the head of the museum, who was not unreasonable. We said, look, we could either introduce legislation to force you to do it, or you can do it voluntarily. And they wanted to work with us. And we're going to see, and we are seeing right now, a very significant increase in the amount of American-made products in all of their gift shops. So we're making some progress. And I'm delighted that uh, Maple Landwalk is, is selling their very lovely toy uh, in, in the uh, gift shop. Do you want to show us what they're, they're selling? I think you might have one with you. Well, as a matter of fact, I do have their yo-yo right <laughs> over. Where so is it? One is the yo-yo. Here it is. This is, uh, and if you, next time I'm here, we'll actually do a demonstration. I'm not too bad at this <laughs> stuff. But it is, it's a very nice product. And I think increasingly, and Jill, you know, tell me if I'm wrong here, but when people see a Made in America product, they understand that there's something wrong in our economy when it is so hard uh, to find American-made products when unemployment is so high. And I think, am I correct in saying more and more people want to see American-made products? Absolutely. And that's what we're feeling at our company. Um, our business has been up 20% for about the past five months. And uh, we were recently at some shows in New York, and uh, people were kind of making a beeline to our booth looking for a product um, that was made in America. So, Senator Sanders, do you think there will be more Made in America products at the Smithsonian? What was their hesitance to it? I'll tell you, this is how bad the situation is. It is, for example, with the furniture industry, it has pretty much moved to China. And the toy industry has moved to China. So if you want to buy furniture or you want to buy toys, the easy way out is to simply go to some distributor who deals with Chinese products. But if they have some initiative, and I think they're beginning to go out to various toy fairs and so forth, they can buy products made in America. It's a little bit harder, but they're trying to do it. We are also working with the uh, company that supplies gifts for the monuments, as well as the Veterans Administration. So more hope for Vermont businesses, maybe? Absolutely. And I want to thank you both for being here. Jill Stackhouse with Maple Landmark. You can now go to the Smithsonian, see their yo-yos, and also this wood toy as well. And you heard from the store that it's already popular? Yes. Um, actually, I was uh, emailing the, uh, my contact there yesterday, and she said, the strings, there's so many people playing with the yo-yos that the strings are, are getting tangled up. Can you shrink wrap them for us? I'm like, absolutely. So that tells me that there's, there's some interest. I said, would you like them shrink wrapped now? She said, oh, for future orders. So that's, that, that's good news. All right. Well, Jill Stackhouse, Maple Landmark, Senator Sanders, thank you both for your time. But up next, we're going to continue to talk with Senator Sanders about the big issues of the day in Washington and the impact on Vermonters. Stick around.